You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. Good evening. The Mudlarks Drama Group proudly present The Bone of Doom, a Preston mystery in ten episodes. Episode 5. In last week's episode, Mrs. Haynes and her sister Martha began solving the clues in the telegram, which would lead them to find Mrs. Haynes's cousin Cora, who had been kidnapped. I think the first thing we ought to do is go down to see Madame Rosa. I'm sure she'll be able to help. Always assuming she's not in on the whole thing. Let's not jump to any conclusions just yet. There's not much time if we have three clues to solve. Three? Yes. That's what it says at the end of the telegram. To find me, the first of three. That must mean there are three clues to solve. Do you want me to come with you or shall I stay here in case Jean rings back with some more information? I'd rather have you with me. Yes, Preston, both of you. Are you all right now, Mrs Haynes? Yes, thank you. Mrs Roberts, we have to go back down to the promenade. Is there anything I can do? My friend Miss Maple might ring again. Can you let her know that we are trying to sort things out here and we'll ring her if we have any problems? Of course. Oh, do you know how long the fortune teller on the promenade has been here? Madam Rosa, she's been coming here for about three years, I think. She comes over about the middle of May and usually stays till the end of August. Oh, thank you. Is there something wrong? No, it's just that if this was her first year here... Where does she stay? I believe she has a room in one of the bed and breakfast places in town. If you want to speak to her, you'd better get going. I think she usually packs away about three o'clock. It's 22 now. We should just be able to catch her. Thank you for your help, Mrs Roberts. It's no trouble, Mrs Haynes. It doesn't look as though she's packed away yet. Thank goodness. Preston, what are you barking at now? Look, Martha, it's that man again. The one wearing that heavy coat. Coming out of the fortune teller's tent. Preston and I will stay here while you go and speak with Madame Rosa. Don't want Preston taking a chunk out of his leg. You know, I'm sure I've seen him somewhere before. Oh well, wish me luck. Good luck. Hello? Entrez. Good afternoon. Bonjour, madame. Please, sit. Madame Rosa? Do you wish me to read your palm or to make a reading from the card? No, neither, thank you. I'd really like to ask... First, you must cross my palm with silver. I beg your pardon? Oh, yes, of course. One moment. Here you are. Half a crown? Merci, that is very generous. I... You must stay silent for a moment. Please, give me your hands. Palms up, s'il vous plaît. You're married. Yes. You do not have children, but you do have a dog. I don't see what... Ah, I see. Your mind is troubled. There is something. Your aura is disturbed. You feel you are in danger. No... You're not in danger. It is someone close to you. You are seeking knowledge. You believe that I can help. No. You believe that I will help you find... I don't wish to be rude, Madame Rosa, but I don't really want you to read my palm. I want to ask if someone has left a note or something like that. Ah, then it is you, Madame Arms. I have been expecting you. How did you know my name? What do you mean you're expecting me? A man, who said he was a friend of yours, came to see me a few days ago. He mentioned that he might be coming to Margate. He said he was sorry that he wouldn't have a chance to meet up with you. That's strange. Because he did not really know you as a friend? What makes you say that? There was no friendship in his aura. But I felt that he was speaking the truth about you coming to Margate. What did he look like? I cannot really say... He was there in a thick coat, and his hat was pulled down so that I could not see his face clearly. He asked for a tarot reading, but as soon as I let the cards out, he got up and left. Was he the man that left your tent just now? He has not returned, and today no one has been here for at least an hour. 
There was a man wearing a thick coat coming out of your tent as we came along the promenade. Je suis désolé, but the last person I saw before you was a woman. She had a reading... A tarot reading? Yes. Are any of the cards to do with games of chance? No. Oh. But one of the major arcana cards is the Wheel of Fortune. Can I look at it, please? One moment. Here it is. Thank you. Oh, I don't think this can be... Oh, Madame Ams, there is something written on the back of the card. Who would do such a thing? I think this is what I've been looking for. I need to take this card with me, if you don't mind. It's very important. Bien sûr, Madame Ams. And please, if there's anything I can do to help... Thank you. Any luck? Martha, I think this is the second clue. A tarot card? It's got something written on the back. What's it say? Time ticks on, we all decay. Is it life or art, who can say? From nothing, one is taken away. How's that to be two or three?